Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Roy, the founder of Wealth Builders HQ. Welcome to this week's Trade Along Tuesday, where each and every week we pick out one candidate as a potential for this week as our trade setup. Uh, we've been doing this now for a couple of months and have had some really good results. I appreciate the emails uh, that you guys send in on the trades that you've taken and what you've done. Uh, so continue to do that if you would, please. It's always great to see that uh, the work that you do, that I do, the effort that I put in uh, definitely has some benefit for all of you at home. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here we've got some upcoming workshops. Premium workshop is Monster Market Movers. Guys, it's a, a phenomenal workshop, two hours, two-hour workshop that has four and a half hours of prerequisite that goes with it. Right? There's a lot of great information in that workshop. Uh, we've been doing it now for a couple of years. We do it once a month. The next one, the last one of 2000 and. 17 is on the 12th free workshop every monday folks from 12 to 1 eastern these are all eastern times 12 to 1 eastern uh we have power hour uh if you have an opportunity to come you should guys it's all about analyzing the candidates that you bring to the table uh we just finished up tonight our e-mini think tank it's monday night as i'm doing this recording uh which is our live two-hour workshop where we're trading the market live and in real time and there's a couple of on-demand workshops listed there as well uh, if you want to follow us as a company, follow me personally, uh, connect with me. That's how you would do it, folks. And this week's Trade Along Tuesday stock is Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -B -A. Some of you may be looking at it saying, wait, Rob, I think I've seen that before. You have. Guys, I'll go to the well as many times as the stock wants to give me a trade setup. I am not concerned about that one bit. And if you, uh, if you look at what's going on here, right, let's look at the chart. We are sitting right at a moving average right now, which is also a confluence at that 188.27 level. And we closed at 188.15. So we're right there, guys, right in our closing price, 8 period EMA. And the fib line gives us a confluence. A confluence is an area of strength, and there are multiple indicators that hit in that area. Right? We have two, which is phenomenal when you get that. If we get the continuation bounce tomorrow, then we go and take the trade. Well, Rob, what if it goes down? Then you don't take the trade. You wait for a new setup. You wait for it to get back above again and set up again. But for right now, assuming it does make its move up, we've got some very specific rules we're looking for. We're looking to enter the trade uh, on a move up, but not too much. In other words, guys, I'm not looking for a, a four-hour gap, and I'm looking to get in this trade. If it does that tomorrow, you'd wait for it to pull back towards that moving average using the intraday charts, looking for strength, looking for a bounce, and from there you could consider entering the trade, right? So we're looking to get in this trade, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, we're looking to get in this trade uh, tomorrow, ideally, on a bounce. 191.60 is our FIBIT. That's our first exit. We're going to scale out of four of our contracts right there. 195 and a quarter is our second exit. Now, guys, I'm calling them exits, but they're just our resistance levels. Somewhere down below there is where we're looking to get out. The way I do this in my power option plays workshop that I teach a couple times a week, uh, which is our options version of the E-minis think tank, what we do is we base it on just a standard number of $1 below resistance, right? Is what we use as our guide. Now, if you're doing Priceline and Google, Amazon, that's a little tough to say that it's the same there as it is for Valero, right? $1,000 stock, $40 stock, $50 stock. So it's tough. But as a general rule, uh, we use $1 as our goal. So if you have a target of 191.60, we would be targeting 191, 190.50 because I don't go after the pennies in between. I'm looking for whole numbers um, in there, which is where most traders will target, not the 191.67. No, <clears throat> 191.50 is as close as they'll get. So then we're at that 195.23, and then we have a confluence up above of the ABC pattern, which is 199.30 and $200.72. So what we actually have there is a zone as our target, right? So each fib line, guys, 191 and a half, 195 and a quarter, 200-ish um, is that next target. And of course, what I don't have in there is we need to put in a horizontal line right at that $200 level. So let me change this over. Let's change this. 
Let's change it to 200. All right. So another confluence there. $200.72, $200, and the ABC, $199.30. So between $199.30 and $200.72 is our zone, our range. Lots of resistance up there. Guys, if we can make it up there, that's awesome. You know, if you look at the last trade we did, this day right here, well, we did the video on this day. This day right here was the entry. We took our entry and our first exit. We took our second exit the next day. We took our third exit here, and we were stopped out just two days later. Uh, actually, this is the results of the trade. We were up $4,713, uh, $4,173 on this trade uh, from the last Alibaba that we did. And this is assuming the option price, not assuming the stock price, right? Um, so there you have it. I mean, great results. In on a third, out on the twelfth. So what are we looking for? Well, if we're if we enter the trade and we're wrong, you're going to set your stop somewhere down below the 188.27. That's number one. Now, as far as what option to trade, guys, I'm looking for at least 30 days, right? So I'm out here December 29th. Uh, it's a 31-day option. I'm looking for uh, about that 65-ish delta, 65 to 85, and it's about 65. It could be 63 or four if there's nothing else. But I have 65 delta, 720 is my mid price. We're looking at 810 is the uh, fair value of the option. So we're definitely looking at buying this at an undervalue from where it is today. Now, could you go further? You could. You know, the, Jan, uh, the January 5th, we don't have a lot of open interest in here. So that one's not going to work. That's a weekly option. I could go out to the January uh monthly option which is 52 days away and remember we're looking here at the 185 right uh, the 185 here gives me a 62 delta if i wanted to go with that same delta uh i mean the same strike i'd be buying it at 945 versus 720 so two dollars and 25 cents more for another 30 days of security i am not opposed to it you could go further in the money open interest is massive so that's not a problem whatsoever. But I'm okay with the one that is coming up for uh, the 29th. It gives me 31 days away. So I am fine with that. If the open interest was there, by the way, on the 38 days, I would have taken that. Just a little bit of an extra cushion in there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is your trade of the day or of the week. Your trade along Tuesday. Guys, if you like what you see here, uh, give it a thumbs up. Certainly subscribe to the channel. Pass it along to your friends. Write some comments down below. Uh, we greatly appreciate the help of trying to build the channel and all that you guys have done to support us as a company. I uh, hope you appreciate it. I'd have a great day. Good luck in trading. Happy trading, folks. And I'll see you next week. Take care now.